When people ask me, Rick, what is your favorite video that you've ever done? I say, oh, no question about it. It was the reimagining the Stairway to Heaven solo video. That was a video where I recreated the solo section of Stairway to Heaven, and I imitated what I thought Peter Frampton would have played, Phil Lex imitated what he thought Eddie Van Halen would have played, and then we had Eric Johnson play what he would have played on Stairway to Heaven. So people keep asking me if I can do another video in that style, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna recreate the solo section of Back in Black, and I'm gonna have myself, Phil Lex, and a third mystery guest. But the concept for this, I was thinking, is I'm really influenced by Angus's playing, so I'm gonna attempt to do a thing that's my solo with Angus's influences in there. And then I'm gonna call Phil X and get Phil to do a solo, because Phil is an ACDC expert, but I know he will put his own spin on it. And then we'll find somebody else, a third person. Let's see what Phil has to suggest. Let me call him. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How are you? Excellent. How are you? Good. Okay, so I have another video idea. Remember we did the Stairway to Heaven video? Dude. Okay, so this time it's back in black, but it's a different concept. So this concept is whatever you would play, because you already have Angus's DNA in your playing, and so do I. So I want Phil X and Angus melded together because I'm going to do a solo like that. You, you down? Yeah, I'm totally down. Okay, we need to get a third person to do this. Do you have any ideas? Oh, dude, you know who would be awesome? Bumblefoot. That would be wicked. Oh, he's amazing. Maybe I get him to play his fretless guitar or something. That would be insane, dude. All right, so you have time to do this? Can you can you, can you you get this happening or what? Uh, Ricky? There you go. <laughs> I'll make time. All right, all right. I'm, I'm waiting for it. So the first thing I need to do when I'm doing any recording video is call my old assistant, Ken, because he always records these. But before that, I have a quick announcement. The Beatles. This video is brought to you in part by my upcoming live shows in Chicago, Seattle, and Los Angeles. Click the link in the description to be part of a live What Makes This Song Great and Ask Me Anything from the audience. In this video, instead of the last one where I had Jack playing drums, I have Darren Dodd, who's the drummer from my old band Billionaire, coming in to play the drums on Back in Black. And Darren definitely knows all the fills exactly as they are because there are none. Unlike Stairway to Heaven, I don't have to actually study what the guitars and bass do in this song because I use the solo in my top 20 guitar solos of all time. In fact, that video actually got taken down because of that song because the YouTube bots thought it was the original recording. So I had to go back in and play it a little differently so it wouldn't get blocked. Here we are cutting the solo section. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay, so the solo section is done. Next, I need to actually start listening to some Angus to get a feel for Angus's playing. Now, I know Angus is playing really well. I know a lot of his solos. I know the Back in Black solos. But I want to make sure I incorporate some of his style licks, like some of those pentatonic triplets that he does that are really fast. And I'm going to intersperse some of my own personality in there as well. Here's my solo.
would have Phil explain what he's going to try to do in this solo, but I actually decided to put it at the end because it's really hilarious. So wait till the end of the video after Bumblefoot solo and you can hear Phil and I talk about our solos. Here's Phil's solo. Next, I called Bumblefoot and I said, Ron, this is the concept of the video. I want you to play your version of what an Angus Young solo would be, but on fretless guitar. What do you think about that? He's like, yeah, cool. Ron is one of the few people that plays fretless guitar. He plays amazing solos on fretless guitar, but he can, he's one of the best guitarists in the world, just like Phil. These guys are absolutely two of my favorite guitar players. Here's Ron's solo. unbelievably hard right so hard it was like it was like uh you're trying to put angus in there you're trying to put yourself in there <laughs> and if you just do blues like you sound like the guy playing at the pub down the street <laughs> I did, I did, no. so, and so you want to sound like you i mean you want to sound like rick yeah uh, well, what's gonna want to sound like bumblefoot i don't know man it was so hard because you way harder than stairway to heaven way harder and you know what in the, in the original solo is so ingrained in your brain that you got you want to stay away from it yeah but you want to capture the emotion intended which is what i always say about doing covers but man i just i want to you know i don't want people to be like oh it could be anybody <laughs> you want to put your licks in there right. but you don't want it to sound like you're just taking your licks and there's lick one and lick two and lick three, and then sew them all together like patchwork. You want it to sound like, you know, flow. The thing about about Angus to me is all his development of his of his ideas. Yes. How every phrase has a logical conclusion and it leads into the next one, right? <laughs> da 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 da. Everything is just always developing ideas. Right. I'm just gonna go on record right now and say that mine doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was really the most difficult thing that I've done. I swear when you called me about it, I thought this is gonna be a piece of cake, three minutes in and out, here you go. Nothing like that at all. The complete opposite, it took all day. <laughs> it took all day to get a beginning and end and congruency throughout. Right, like, exactly. I to do one take for the video capture, right, right? Right. I don't want oh there's an edit. Oh there's another edit. No, I want it to be one thing. So getting that was the hardest thing. That was yeah. the most complicated part. Hopefully uh people dig it, right? Hopefully no, they're gonna kill us. We're gonna get pelted. <laughs> pelted. This is stupid, this sucks. Oh my god. Hey, All right. for the haters and trolls. There we go. Awesome. All right, man. We'll see what happens. Okay, let us know how we did. Leave in the comments and also tell us what would you like to see the next song that we attack, the next guitar solo. Don't forget my new Beato book, Interactive, is out. If you've bought any version of my book in the past, you can get an upgrade. Just go to beatobook.com or if you've never gotten it, check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.